Hey guys, Likey here, back with another video, and yes, you read the title right, I am at 5,800 trophies, I'm actually one battle above 5,800 trophies, so I'm at 5,848, and this is gonna be a great video, I've never been at, uh, I've never been at champion, this account's never been at champion, so this is definitely really exciting, and the champion badge just looks so good. So we're going to be going into the last two ladder replays that got me to 5848, meaning one will be getting to 5800, and one will be going above 5800, or in 5800. So I'm just going to go straight to the ladder match, which would be down here. So we have two here. One of them is a Giant Three Musketeers mirror matchup, and one of them is a matchup against Classic Three Musketeers. So let's go into the Giant Three Musketeers one. Um, so, up. Oh, well, generally in this range of ladder, you get a lot of annoying matchups. So I was lucky enough to face, like, similar decks, but um, that can be hard too, because a similar deck that's gotten up here, it means that they have to be good, because they have beaten all of the tough matchups that also exist, so we're just going to go through these uh, mirror matchups here. So this is that we both have Giant Three Musketeers. I don't have my Three Musketeers, so I can't play them behind my Giant, unfortunately, but we both play Giant in the back. Now for him, the best play would be to play Three Musketeers, but I don't think he does. He decides to go with a Battle Ram in the back, which I thought was a bit weird, because I can literally just use my bats, and if he zaps it, then... um. Then I can use my minion horde. So I, I was able to take that out fine with no problem. And my goblin gang also took out his giant. But I have a bit of a problem here because um, he has his two musketeers. I believe I just defend that with my three musketeers here. And um, now I have a three musketeers on the, on the field and he doesn't have any. Uh, he doesn't have it in rotation. So this is overall a good uh, trade for me. And instead of pumping up, I decide to just pressure, not give him the opportunity to pump up too. And uh, I do get a Battle Ram connect, but he does defend that pretty well. So um, I, I think overall that was a pretty good interaction for me. But I should be kind of worried now because he has the three Musketeers in hand and I don't. Uh, if there's one benefit is that he doesn't have Giant, so he can't set up for a huge push. Um, I believe we, we both opt to pump up here just because it's the best play for both of us. Um, no point of rushing in yet, and um, so now I'm feeling pretty confident because I do have the damage advantage, and uh, typically when you have the damage advantage on one side, your opponent tries to switch around and attack the other lane, so I was kind of wary of that, and there we go, he's attacking the other lane, so um, one of the best things you could do when someone rushes opposite lane is to be ready for it and defensive three musketeers. Because once you do that, you just get this huge advantage, and he doesn't really know what to do, so he splits his three musketeers, and I just go all in on the three musketeers side, and um, I also uh, just drop a minion horde with the giant, um, just to support it a bit, but the tower I really take is the one on the three musketeer side, and... Um, there's really not much he can do at this point because I've gotten such a huge elixir advantage. Um, I've I've completely decimated his tower, and as as long as I keep setting up, he's just done. So I do get a three crown there, and this battle was to fifty eight hundred. So I was very excited there. I actually decided to do one more above that. So we're gonna go into it, and it's against classic three musketeers. So the thing is, um, classic three musketeers. It's um, it's good against Giant Three Musketeers because you have the Miner for the pump, and you also have Ice Golem Zap for the Minion Horde, so you can actually completely counter it without fail. So, uh, so, um, but in the late game, you have the advantage as the Giant Three Musketeers player because um, when you play your Giant, there's just they're never gonna get that much tankage for the Musketeers. So, um. That is the benefit that I have in this match, so I kind of just have to survive to late game. I was pretty lucky because he didn't happen to have his, um, he didn't happen to have his, uh, miner in the beginning, but I do take a lot of damage here, um, because he did defend with his three musketeers, and that gives you a ton of value. So if you can get value defending with your three musketeers and then counter push, there's really not much that the other three musketeers player can do. So here, I'm I'm not feeling too great about this, but I'm just trying to pump. I'm just trying to get an advantage here any way I can, because I know 
with classic three musketeers i'm going to be able to um i'm going to be able to win in the late game as long as i keep um you know using my giant and just putting that in front of the three musketeers um he's never gonna get that much in front of the three musketeers so i should be fine so i think this is where i start to build my push so i get i get my giant down and once you get a giant down and your three musketeers behind it, it's pretty hard. So I know he didn't have zap, so I just defended that with the goblin gang. I probably could have also just defended it with bats, which would have been an even better trade, but I just go with my three musketeers here. I know he doesn't have a giant or any heavy tank that can really uh that can really do what the giant can do, so my three musketeers are basically melting his ice golem and um I, I, I win on this trade here because I do get some tower chip, but he also spends more elixir than me, so overall that's good. Now for some reason he decides to go in for a battle ram when he doesn't even have his zap, so that means I can go free with a minion horde there and that's perfectly fine. So overall this isn't looking too great for me now, but I know that um, I can just get my giant and make a huge push So I think this is his critical mistake here. He actually chose to pump up Which isn't such a good decision this late in the game So uh, when he pumps up that leaves him at a temporary disadvantage He's never gonna make that elixir back He's gonna be at a disadvantage for the rest of the match here as I just tear through him with a giant and a battle ram And he's never gonna get that amount of tanks on the on the field so I just kind of keep spamming stuff because he's still at a disadvantage from pumping there and I just throw my battle ram I just throw everything and there's he can't do anything here because he pumped up and he's never gonna get that elixir back so that's basically gonna finish the game uh, he tried to defend it but I just threw my giant in front my battle ram in front and that that finished out the game so uh, that that did put me at 58 48 um, champions it uh also put me in the top 1000 so that's really good and overall i'm really satisfied so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh they were easier matchups being mirror matchups they weren't hard counters or anything like my 5500 video if you guys haven't watched that uh definitely check it out for some good giant three musketeer gameplay but that's actually gonna wrap it up for now um, join my Discord if you haven't joined it already. It's in the description. And sorry for my voice if it sounded a little raspy. I'm a bit sick right now, but it should be fine. So, uh, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.